Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel connections using RAM Connection Standalone. RAM Connection Standalone is used for the design and detailing of steel connections and it can design individual shear, moment, brace, splice, and truss connection types to a variety of different steel design codes. In this particular video, we're going to be focusing on the workflow for designing end plate shear connections to beam to column joints and also beam to girder joints. We will now turn our attention to the RAM connection standalone application where we will assign an end plate shear connection to a beam column joint and a beam girder joint. Let's start with the beam column joint and we're going to select joint number one which is a beam column flange with a shear reaction. To assign an end plate connection, we will go to the Design tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and click on the Assign icon. Now for an end plate connection, we're looking for the acronym EP for end plate. You can see that we have an end plate connections available in both a bolted and welded configuration in the basic connection workflow area and also the smart connection workflow area. For this exercise, we'll select a basic connection and then we'll choose the bolted option, which will bolt the end plate to the column. Once we've selected our options, we can click on the assign icon and RAM connection will choose a connection template from the end plate database. In the joint selection area, we'll be able to see the status of this connection. And for this particular joint, we can see that a connection template was successfully found that fulfills both the geometry and loading. We can see that the interaction ratio is less than 1.0 and it is in green, meaning that no warnings or errors were encountered through the connection selection process. If we would like to make any changes or review any of the information for this connection, we can click on the edit icon and then edit the shear connection. This will bring up the connection pad where you can review or edit any of the parameters for this particular connection design. You can review the connection report and you can also view a DXF view of this particular connection. In the end plate window, you'll also notice that you can modify the plate information, including the thickness of the plate, the material, and position. For the connection to the beam, you can modify the welding information. And for the connection of the support, you can modify the connection type, including selecting at this point in your workflow between bolted or welded. For this particular connection, we will keep all of the default parameters and we will close out of the connection pad, keeping the standard connection template that was assigned to this joint. Next, let's go ahead and select a beam girder joint. And for this exercise, let's select joint number five, which has a shear reaction imposed upon it. To assign an end plate connection from the database to this joint, we will go up to the design tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the assign icon. Again, we'll be able to select between either a basic or smart connection workflow, and we still have the options for selecting between a bolted or a welded configuration. For this exercise, let's go with a smart connection workflow. Let's go with an EP end plate bolted connection, and we will click assign. Here we can see that a connection was assigned to this particular joint and in the joint selection area, we should be able to see the status. Our interaction ratio for this particular connection is less than one, and it's indicated in green, meaning that it passed all design checks. Again, if you want to edit the connection design, we can click on the edit icon, followed by shear connection, 
and we'll be able to modify the parameters as needed. At this point, this concludes our process for assigning an end plate shear connection to a beam column and a beam girder joint in RAM connection standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.